Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to find Jamal's crate key here in Dead Island 2. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, before you can even gain access to Jamal's crate key, we need to make sure that we're progressing through the main story until we get to the Sterling Hotel on Ocean Avenue. Once making it to Ocean Avenue and completing your main quest at the Sterling Hotel, you will then speak with Denise and she'll tell you about a missing persons board. Once you're done, you can come over to the missing persons board and we'll have two missing persons request. We want to grab the one that says Jamal. Now, if you're struggling to find this missing persons board, I'll show you the map of Ocean Ave. You guys can see our location is going to be in this circle on the far left of the map. Now, after we grab Jamal's poster, we're going to turn to the right and we're going to head into this room and we're going to fast travel back to the hotel. So we'll go up here to the Halperin Hotel. We'll fast travel here and this is going to lead us on our little side quest to finding Jamal. Now after we spawn in at the hotel, we're going to take a right and head outside. So we'll go down the staircase here and this is going to lead to a door that exits the hotel. And we're going to go find the whereabouts of Jamal. So we'll head out into the street where we're going to have a red truck out here. And it will encourage us to start searching uh, for clues on where Jamal might be. So you guys can see it says sniff out clues to Jamal's whereabouts. We've got two locations that we need to find in this area. Now, as you guys can see on my screen, the clues to finding Jamal are going to be located in this security hut. So the first thing we want to do is take out this alarm system. I've already done so, but you want to take that out because it'll make a ton of noise and it'll alert all the zombies nearby and they'll come after you. And then you can go around the back. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but you can break this thing. And I think that's going to open the door. It did. So make sure you break that thing on the back. It'll open the door and we can then go inside and grab our clues. Now, if I were you guys, I would recommend luring the zombies away uh, so that they don't trap you inside. You'll see them right here in the back. I'm going to pick up everything while I'm in here. Now, after grabbing all the clues out of this security hut and killing the zombies that are trapping you inside, if you get stuck, we're going to head back over here on the right side and we're going to go under this fence and we're going to go get our remaining clues over by the other security guard hut. So if you continue this way, you'll find some buses. Again, you'll find a lot of zombies back here. Make sure that you take those out. Uh, or you can try to do this if you don't want to take them out. You can just uh, bob and weave. But come back here. Make sure that you destroy the power supply so the door will open. Take out the alarm up top so it doesn't make a lot of noise. And then you can go inside and get your next clues and loot whatever you want in here. So now that we've got our two clues, it's now going to say Jamal drove off in his red pickup truck. Follow him. So it'll show you a little red dot on the screen. We're going to head back toward the red pickup. So go back under the fence here. And this is pretty straightforward as it kind of shows you where to go. We'll head over this direction through the fences all the way to the end of the street. You guys will see it shows we're about 80 meters out. So just travel down the street. You don't really have to fight any of these zombies yet. Uh, but just work your way to the red pickup truck. And once you get down here, you're going to find an armored zombie. It'll say Jamal with a question mark. So you guys can see that that just blew up. We're going to look around. We've got a lot of massive zombies down here. Um, and there should be one that spawns that has Jamal with a question mark. So we've got a walker here. This one says runner, shambler, shambler, and then Jamal. So we want to take out Jamal and Jamal will drop the key. Uh, to allow us to open his stuff. So now you guys can see that I've taken out Jamal and you'll see that he drops Jamal's crate key. Go ahead and pick that up and then take out the remaining zombies in the area so that you don't die. Now, once you've gotten the key and taken out the remaining zombies, we wanna head over to Jamal's red pickup truck, which is gonna be right where we just fought all the zombies. And now you'll be able to open up Jamal's stash as well as Jamal's ammo. But this is how to get Jamal's crate key here in Dead Island 2. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.